In this video, we'll create a very simple interaction system in Unity. So to get started, we just need to create an interface and just call this something like I interactable object. Press enter. Let Unity compile for a second. Then press enter again to open that up in Visual Studio Code. We need to remove all the using statements and all the comments and stuff that's generated. Remove model behavior. And then we can just change class to interface uh it needs to be lowercase like that and then we just need to create a simple function and just call it void per act like that open close parentheses then in the line in a semicolon so that's the interface done the next thing we need to do is create the interactable object script so i'm just going to call this interactable object Okay, so now that that's open, I can delete all this stuff here, and uh, the using statement's fine. So I can make this inherit from mono behavior and I interactable object, like that. Implement it by typing in public void interact, like that. Open close parentheses, open close curly braces, and then we've implemented it. And then the next thing we, knew we need to do is hold a reference to the object we'll be editing. And in this case, it's just going to be this cube. So every time the user presses E while looking at this sphere, it will enable or disable this cube. So I just need to create a reference to that cube. So I, just, I can just say public game object, and I can just like call it object to edit like that. And then I need to do a simple if statement, and it goes something like if object to edit dot active self is equal to true we can just say object to edit dot set active and then just set it to false and then we just want to return to prevent it from doing anything else and then we can just pretty much copy and paste this to down here and instead of checking to see if it's true we can set it to false and if it is false we can set it to true so that pretty much summarizes the interactable object script the next thing we need to do is actually allow the user to interact. So we need to create a very simple script on the camera. And I can just call this like interact. Like that, let Unity compile, press enter. Okay, so now that that's open, every frame we need to check to see what the user presses down. So I can just say if input, not invoke repeating, but input dot get mouse button down. It could be a mouse button, it could be input key, so I can, I'm actually going to make it just E, input dot get key down. I'm just going to pass in key code, key code dot E, like that, open close curly braces. And then we just need to send out a ray cast and whatever that ray hits, we need to get the interface on it. And if it has the interface, we can call the function. So the first thing we need to do is create a ray. I'm just going to call this ray and equal, say equal to camera dot main dot screen point to ray. I think I'm actually going to make it mouse. Yeah, screen point to ray is fine. And then we need to just say transform dot position like that and then that should be good and then we need to say if physics dot raycast dot raycast and then we just pass in that ray that we created and then i think we can also give it max distance so i'm just still give it a max distance of like 10 like that and then whatever that ray hits, we need to pretty much, we need, whatever that ray hits, we pretty much need to get the value on it. So we also need to assign a out and I'm just going to create out and then request hit and just call it hit. And then it's returning an error because, so for some reason it isn't wanting to display the one I'm using. So float max distance and layer mask. Okay, so we need to remove this tint here and instead we need to replace it without raycast hit and just call it hit and then we can move the tint here. And then we want to say I interactable object 
and just call this interactable object is just equal to hit dot game object hit dot collider dot game object dot get component and then I can just say I interactable object like that close it up and then it should work and then we need to do a null check so interactable object question mark period and then we can just say interact like that so now that's the scripting part of it done now we need to hook everything up in the editor so i'm just going to drag this interactable object onto this sphere here and assign the object to edit and then on the player the camera just needs to be assigned this interact script so I can run and to see if it works, we just need to go into play mode. Okay, so I'm getting a null preference error on the camera script. And I think this is because we didn't assign a main camera. So I'm just going to give this a tag of main camera. So I should be able to press play again and it doesn't work. I don't know why. It might be due to layer mask. But to check, you can just like go back into here so what could be happening is that it's not sending out a raycast to check we just need to say debug dot log raycast is sent like that and then if it's not receiving input we just need to say debug dot log and then we can just say input received like that so that should actually help us debug it just to ensure that it is doing what it should okay so it says recast sent so the next thing we need to do is debug the interactable object so we need to see debug dot log log and then we just need to say recast hit hit dot wider dot game object dot name like that go back into here because we want to see what it's actually hitting just to ensure that it is hitting the correct object okay so it's hitting ground so i don't know why it would be hitting ground because we have a collider on this interactable object so what could be happening is, is that we're standing so close to it that it isn't like the object isn't receiving a raycast but that'd be just a little weird okay so what we actually have to do is just create a mouse position so this is just going to be a vector three and i can just call it mouse pause mouse pause and just set equal to input dot mouse position like this that is a function and then in here we just need to put mouse pause in there like that and then everything should work as expected so I can just clear the console and then we can run it to see if it works. So I can press E here and we can see the object turns on or off. So we've created a very simple interaction system in Unity. You can expand upon this so it can use things like Unity events just to make this system scalable. But this is just a simple tutorial. I'll have more Unity tutorials coming out in the future, so be sure to subscribe to never miss another upload. But that is all from me for now. Funuber out.